now we are discussing the program to reverse the string using stack first of all i am executing this program to make you understand the how it will work so now we are compiling this program and we can see that the errors and warnings are zero that means program is successfully compiled and now we are closing it and running the program so now we are executing the program so here is the output screen where we can see that welcome to string reverse program so here it is asking to enter the string let us suppose that we are asking some of the string here let us suppose that we have entered a string here so you can see that string is reversed ankit varma is there and that is reversed so this is the program we will do with the help of the stack so now we are discussing the code so here first of all we are having the two backslashes that means it is a comment compiler will not read it program to reverse the string using stack so we will reverse the string using the stack then we are having hash include stdio dot h hash include stdio that is standard put output header file for printf and scanf functions then hash include string dot h this is the string header file for string functions like string length then we are having character type variable here we are mentioning stack 20 that means it is a array array of size 20 so we are assuming that it is a stack because we are using array as the stack so i am taking a stack so now this is the stack and talking about the stack as the size of stack is 20 so it will start from 0 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 and these values will go up till 19 because 0 to 19 it is the 20 now afterward we are having the next line which is int top is equal to minus 1 so there is one top top means this is the top pointer which is pointing to the top element and right now there is no element into the stack that's why the top is pointing to minus 1 so top is pointing to minus 1 now we are having few function prototype void push char that means if i has to push a uh, character then we need a push function push char there is no return type that's why the void then char pop means if we are going to pop something the character will be returned now afterward we are going to understand what are the main program so here i am learning with the main program now here we are having void main so we are on the main function char str20 so there is a string of 20 size means it is an array which is having the 20 size so now this one is the array which is named as str this is a string now 0 1 2 3 4 and up to 19 this one is the index values for this string now afterward we are having the next line so the line says that int l and i so there are two variables which we are taking one is l and one is i afterward we are having printf welcome to string reverse program so here the line will be printed on the screen that welcome to string reverse program afterward there is another printf means on the screen we are printing slash n for the new line enter string so we are asking from the user to enter a string let us suppose that user has entered some of the string we are assuming that the string is this one a n k i t user has entered gets str so whatever we are taking that is going to the str so gets means taking the whole string and str str means str is the array where we are storing so this a and k i t will be stored here so this is a and k i and t so that is stored here then after we are saying l is equal to str alien str alien is a string handling function for string length str so finding the length of string here we can see that there are five elements one two three four five so five elements are there that's why the l will be five so string is five now we are running a for loop for i is equal to zero so i will start from zero i less than l means i until not reach the 5 less than 5 i plus plus will be coming later then it is going and pushing the str i 
push stri pushing means pushing all the elements to the stack one by one if if the value of i is zero str i str will be zero so if i take the first element that will be taken so at this time the i is zero so if the i is zero then it is pointing to zero and here we are taking the first element str zero which is a and we are pushing that means we are pushing here now what that push function is saying push function is saying to push the elements that we will discuss later on that what the push function is doing and obviously we know that push function is going to push the elements one by one and top will be incremented so here the top will be incremented earlier value lost now again this loop is going to run until it is less than 5 i plus plus and so on so the value of i incremented i is 1 str i means n n is pushed top incremented then afterward the value of i is 2 so str 2 that is pushed that means k is and the top value incremented so these values are not no more there afterward the value will be 3 so str 3 and here is i so i will be placed here then afterward top will be incremented top will come here the value will cross then 4 so here 4 is t so t will come here and the top will be incremented now the value of i will be 5 but it is not matching the condition the condition is less than 5 and it is 5 so condition will false and it will come to the next line so here we are having the next line printf reversed string so on the user screen there is a message reversal of the string now for i is equal to 0 i will again start with 0 and i less than l means i less than l that is 5 so here the i will start with the 0 again and it will go until the l which is Five, and we'll come down. Ch is equal to pop. So there is one more variable we are taking, which is ch, and that ch we are going to take out the element after popping. So ch is equal to pop. So if we write the pop, that means the function of pop will be called, and we are going to take out the top element. So top element t is taken out. That means ch value is t. and afterward this top will become down top minus minus so this this value is now 3 so top is now pointing to 3 afterward we are saying printf percentage c ch that means this t is printed on to the screen so there on the screen we have printed t again it will go back incrementing the i the value of i is 1 and afterward again we are going to pop so this is going to go in a loop one by one until the value of i becomes 5 so here the i value is 1 again we are going to pop one more element and the top is now again going down this this position is not the top this element i is stored into ch so earlier value is lost so this i and again we are printing so again i we have printed this way it will go back again it will increment the i and afterward again pop performed so pop means one more element k k is taken out and stored to ch and now the value of top is now again decremented to 1 afterward again we have printed this element which is k again going back again incremented the value of i is now 3 then again we have popped one more element and that element is n and n is stored into ch afterward the top will be decremented so top is here the earlier value of top is lost so here we are displaying the element which is n so you can see that this is displaying again going back i plus plus so the value of i is 4 again popping one more element so here element we have taken into ch this is the statement pop ch so pop element going to ch now afterward displaying the element and before that top is decremented top is now on minus 1 this this is not the value of top 
so again the capital a is printed now afterward again it will go back and i plus plus the value of i is 5 but it is running less than 5 and the value of i is 5 so condition false once the condition falls it will come out and you can see that successfully we have displayed the reverse of the string t i k and a the string we have entered was a and k i t so the string is reversed now we are going to learn the push and pop function but we already know that push function is pushing the elements onto the stack and incrementing the top and pop function is taking out the elements and decrementing the top so now i'm scrolling down to understand the push and pop functions so scrolling down now to push and pop functions so here first of all we are having is the void push function where we are passing some of the character in between because you have seen that here we have called this push function so whenever we are calling this push function then this is going to call it and afterward what is performed first of all top plus plus let us suppose that top is here then top will be incremented to the next place let us suppose here top will be there the new value will be taken and stack top is equal to c means whatever the character we want to enter that will be taken here in this particular set let us suppose that we want to insert our k so k will be inserted so this is how the push function will work and if we talk about the pop function then this is going to call the pop function and it will return a character you can see that there we are having the return type character it will return a character so we have taken a char c means a c character is taken then stack top let us suppose that this was the top of the stack which is k so that k is stored into this c because you can see that stack top is going to the c and top minus minus so after removing this it will again go back to the previous position so this is how the top is working and return c so this c will be returned back to the calling program so this k will be given back to the calling program let us suppose here so this is how the push and pop functions are working so this is the complete program of converting the string into the reverse using the stack